Have you ever seen this dreaded error message your PC or device needs to be repaired? This error typically appears during the boot process and indicates that something has gone wrong with the Windows bootloader or crucial system files. You might see an error code like this. This code points to issues like corrupted boot configuration data. So if you are seeing this error, don't panic. In this video, I'll show you a simple solution to fix this error. You'll get your PC back up and running without losing your data. Let's get started. To fix the problem, we are going to rebuild the Windows boot configuration data. For this, we'll require Windows installation media. In my case, I have Windows 11. So I'll use a Windows 11 bootable USB flash drive. Now power off your computer and turn it back on. As it starts, continuously press the boot menu key on your keyboard to access the boot menu screen. Here, select your USB flash drive and press enter. It will open the Windows setup screen. Click next. Click on repair your computer at the bottom. Select troubleshoot and then command prompt. Using command prompt, we'll begin by accessing the EFI system partition where Windows boot files are stored. For that, we need to assign a drive letter to the system partition. We are going to use the disk part utility. List the disks to find your system disk. Select your system disk. Then list the partitions to find the system partition. This is typically around 100 to 200 MB and labeled as system. Select the system partition. Assign a drive letter to the system partition, for example B. Next, format the system partition. Once formatted, we need to restore the boot files to the system partition. We'll use the BCD boot tool for this. Specify the part to your Windows installation directory. Then specify the target partition for copying boot files. In this case, we assign the drive letter B. Then type slash F UEFI so that it copies the files for the UEFI based system. Now close the command prompt. Remove the USB installation media and click on continue. If everything goes well, your PC should now boot normally without any errors. So there you have it, a simple yet effective solution to fix Windows boot problems.